10 reasons why your hair will not grow. Hi everyone, it's Lana here. Welcome back to my channel. This video is for you if you feel like your hair just doesn't grow. People say it to me all the time. They feel like they're stuck in one place. Their hair won't grow past a certain point. So let's talk about it. This video is part of my hair transformation series. All of this month, I'm gonna be talking curly hair from cuts, curly hair routines, hair growth tips, and things to avoid. So if you wanna see more, make sure you subscribe and turn on your notifications. So what are the things that are preventing your hair from growing? I think one of the first things we need to ask ourselves is, is this a hair growth issue or a length retention issue? Most hair growth issues are actually length retention issues. A lot of people have great hair growth, incredible hair growth, but their hair doesn't seem to get any longer. The reason is because the hair is breaking towards the ends, it's still growing, but it's not getting longer because it's breaking right here. It's giving the illusion that your hair isn't growing at all, but it is. The bad news is that length retention issues are usually caused by our own bad habits, but the good news is that length retention issues are usually very easy to fix. So here are 10 reasons why you are not retaining length, which is giving the illusion that your hair is not growing at all. Number one is bleach. Need I say more? It's so drying, so damaging, and I know a lot of us think we can get away with a little bit here and there, like just a little highlights vibe, but the truth is it will damage every strand that it touches, and I know how addictive highlights can be. You go for a little, you go for a little bit more, you go for a little bit more, and before you know it, you are blonde. I don't wanna say never use bleach because it is a personal choice and it can look amazing, like so good. However, if your main goal is to have the longest hair that you can even imagine, then bleaching is not the way you're gonna get there. I've seen many examples of girls online who have, you know, stunning curly hair, blonde curly hair, and it always stays quite short. And then they express a desire they wanna have longer hair, they stop bleaching, and suddenly their hair grows. It happens all the time. And I've been there myself. Like when I first went on my curly hair journey, I'd been there for about two years. I finally had long hair and something in me was like, yeah, like I'm totally fine to just like bleach it now. So I did, I had highlights. My hair got damaged and it got shorter again. And then I had to chop off the damage. And that's because your hair is being dried out by the bleach. It's become more fragile and it breaks more easily. It is growing, but it's not able to retain the length. So yeah, it grows, it breaks, it grows, it breaks, it grows, it breaks. A cycle of staying in the same place. The second reason why your hair is not growing is because you are still using a bit too much heat a bit too often. So when I first started and I was like really feeling the ropes and I started to notice that my hair was like getting healthier, I kind of convinced myself that it would be okay to still straighten my hair as a treat, like once a month or something. I think sometimes I was still even doing it once every two weeks. I genuinely thought that was fine because my hair was healthier than it was when I was like straightening my hair every day. So to me that was like, wow, my hair's so healthy, look at it. When in reality, when I stopped using heat completely, my hair hair like skyrocketed in how healthy it was. I was able to grow my hair so much more when I just cut out the straighteners. Put the straighteners down, put the curlers down, and turn down the temperature on your hair dryers too. The third reason why your hair is not growing is because you don't protect it like ever. You don't wear a satin bonnet or a satin pillowcase when you go to bed. I think a lot of you guys watching probably do do that or I hope, but I know a lot of us don't. When you are sleeping in your bed, your hair is getting dried out, especially if you use cotton pillowcases, that really sucks the moisture out of your hair. It's getting dried out, which is making it more prone to frizz, which is making it more prone to tangles, which is making it more prone to break. You can see how that ends up being problematic, right? So I know some people maybe tried a bonnet and maybe it fell off and you just felt like it wasn't worth it, but I have bonnets on my website by my brand Hedshi and anyone I know that uses them always tells me, Lana, these bonnets do not fall off and I always wear my bonnets as well because they do not fall off. Like they will stay on through the night, they will reduce the stress. So if that's you, if you have not been wearing a bonnet, check out my bonnets, I'll leave them linked down below. The fourth reason why your hair is not growing is because you wear your hair in tight ponytails. So you know the hairstyles I'm talking about where you, you know, you slide all of your hair back, you tie it very, very tight, you don't wanna get all of your edges back, everything like that. Looks great, but that's gonna cause two problems actually. So the first problem is gonna pull your edges out and you could quite possibly start dealing with a receding hairline. So that's one problem. But on the topic of length retention and breakage, it's actually gonna break your hair around the ponytail, especially if you've tied it very, very tight. When I was a kid, I would always have my hair in a very tight ponytail. And then I would just like have like short pieces of hair. Like I would have like a layer of my hair that was only like 
this long and I'd be like that's so weird that like I have these weird layers and it would be like a fringe and I'd be like it's so weird that I have like this fringe that I never cut that was literally just hair that had broken in the ponytail so imagine it's like it's come here it's gone into the ponytail it's snapped here and now look it's this long and I was like why do I have so much hair that's only this long because it was snapped in the ponytail that's why <laughs> so if you're doing this all the time just imagine how hard you're making it for yourself to actually grow your hair long my advice would be to switch up your hairstyles maybe do something a little bit different use satin scrunchies if you are going to be doing this kind of hairstyle so i also have satin scrunchies on my website which is hitchyhair.com i'll leave them linked down below the fifth reason why you're not reaching your hair growth goals is because you let your hair get too dry and too tangly between washes so we've reached a point where it's now perfectly acceptable as it should be to say that we only wash our hair once a week once every two weeks or maybe even longer and i'm so happy that we're able to say that because that's what curly and quilly hair needs and i feel like i was so uncomfortable to admit that for such a long time because it just wasn't the standard. However, I do just recommend having a look at your schedule, your routine, and seeing what works for you. Because for me as a curly girl, at one point I was only washing my hair like properly, like once every two weeks. And I was doing like a quick little wash once a week. And I was doing that because, you know, I looked online and it was like, oh, you have curly hair, you know, once every two weeks is fine. But realistically, if I leave my hair that long, my hair is going to start matting. It's going to be so hard to detangle. I'm going to lose a lot of hair. I'm going to get breakage. And that's just not good for me to be doing that to my hair. And I know that a lot of you are potentially in a similar situation. And I just noticed that for me, washing my hair once a week is good. It's actually better for me if I just like add a little co-wash here and there to kind of like break up the week and prevent tangles. If I wash my hair and then I co-wash again a few days later, I'm going to have hardly any tangles. It's going to be a breeze. I'm hardly going to lose any hair. I don't have to like hack through my hair with a brush. If I were to wash my hair every two weeks that would be a nightmare and I would lose so much hair. So I do just encourage you to have a look at your schedule and see what's working for you and see what's not working for you and if you do notice that you are getting very very tangly hair in between washes I would recommend washing your hair more often to prevent that from happening. But this leads me on to point number six. So the sixth reason why your hair isn't growing the way you want it to be is because you are being too harsh when you're detangling. <laughs> Honestly chill. I know it can take a long time. I know it can be tiresome. I even dread doing it sometimes. But if you have a hair growth goal, you need to be gentle and patient with your hair at all times. You should use a good quality conditioner with a lot of slip, basically starting off with a finger detangle and then moving on to a wide tooth comb and then moving on to a brush. I actually have a video about detangling. I'm going to link it up here. It's quite old now though, so I think I might need to update it soon. Let me know if you want me to update it but that one is there and I think it's pretty good and informative about how to detangle your hair so check it out. Some of my favorite products and tools for detangling are like the wet detangling brush by Tangle Teaser. I love it. I've been using it for years. I'll leave it linked down below and also conditioners like the Aveda Nutriplenish line. They have a really good deep moisture conditioner which is just really great when I'm detangling and stuff but I also use like a whole bunch of conditioners for this like the Revolution Curl Range or Flora and Curl, Curl Company, like so many different brands make great conditioners that offer a lot of slip. The seventh reason why your hair is not growing is because you never deep condition. When was the last time you deep conditioned your hair? Tell me. A month ago? Six weeks ago? You should be doing it weekly, babe. You know, even every two weeks if you have to, but I recommend weekly deep condition. Get a hair mask. Take some time for yourself. Take a bath with hair mask on. Do the hair mask while you're doing your chores on a Sunday morning. Curly and coily hair is often very fine and fragile, which makes it prone to breakage. So we can strengthen our hair by deep conditioning, protein treatments. Once per week is great for like a nice hydrating deep conditioning treatment. For a more intense protein treatment, I would recommend once every six weeks. When I do my deep conditioning treatments, I only ever leave it on for about half an hour. I see people sometimes leaving it on all night and honestly, I have never come across a mask that even recommends staying on all night. That's just me personally. So for me, half an hour, an hour and I'm good. Just those extra 30 minutes once a week are gonna help you gain 30 inches on your hair. Maybe not 30 inches, but you know, 
a girl can dream. <laughs> Reason number eight why you're not reaching your hair growth goals is because your water is too hot when you're showering. Are you scalding your hair every time you wash your hair? Because I've seen how hot the water is in some people's showers and honestly I'm scared of you. My advice would be to wash your hair separately over the bath or you know just with your shower attachment. Wash your hair separate to your body and then you can use a much colder temperature of water on your hair than you would use on your body. You can use lukewarm water so just mildly warm water for your hair wash and then seal everything in with a cold rinse at the end of your routine. It's going to be so much better for your hair because very hot water is going to raise the cuticles on your hair shaft which is going to make your hair frizzy and more prone to breakage which is not good. Whereas you finish off with a cold rinse it's really going to help to seal and smooth down those cuticles which is going to reduce frizz and thus reduce breakage. So that's what we want. The ninth reason why your hair is stuck at the same length is because you don't have a water filter. Most of the USA and a large portion of the UK has hard water meaning it contains a lot of minerals so those minerals end up building up and they can leave like a white coating around your sinks and maybe in your kettle you've probably noticed but did you know that is also leaving mineral buildup on your hair as well every time you wash your hair so that mineral buildup on your hair makes it difficult for any nutrients from your products to get to your hair it leads to dull dry frizzy hair that's prone to breakage which is not conducive to our hair growth goals. So if you want to prevent breakage, retain your length and grow your hair, I would recommend a water filter. I'll try to leave some linked down below. And I also made a video on some water filters right here. So you can check them out if you want to. Number 10, this is the final reason why your hair will not grow and it's a doozy. So I suggest you brace yourself. So if you're doing all of these things correctly if you treat your hair like a princess and you have an absolutely perfect a star curly hair routine and you're still not retaining the length and you're still not seeing your hair grow then it could be because of this reason genetics I know, it doesn't really sound like much of a reason, but let me explain. So every strand of hair on your head has a life cycle. It's born, it grows, and then it dies. It falls off of your head. And the average lifespan for any singular strand of hair is about seven years. So when it first pokes out of your head until it grows, 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 and then the end is seven years old, and then that's when it's just done and it will just fall off your head. Apparently we lose about 100 hairs a day, right? It's normal, it's natural. Down here, this piece right here is seven years old. Crazy, right? So the longest that your hair can get is determined by how much growing your hair can do within its life cycle before it falls off. So I did say the average is seven year lifespan, but that's average. Some people might only have a four year lifespan on their hair. Some people have 10 years and beyond on their hair. So some people have 10 years to grow their hair before it falls out of their head. Some people only have four years to grow their hair before it falls out of their head. And if you're just at the point where it's like, you just can't seem to grow your hair any longer than this, it might just be because your hair has got to this length in its four years and that's as far as your hair is gonna be able to make it. it happens sometimes and we have to be okay with it because growing our hair long is not the end of the world. But there is a way around this. You just have to find a way to grow your hair as much as you can within its lifespan. And we can talk about that in another video because that's going to be focused on the things that you can do to grow your hair from your scalp. Whereas this video was focused on growing your hair by retaining your leg. So if you enjoyed this video or found it helpful then please thumbs up. It really helps me out. And if you want to see any more from my hair hair care series this month then subscribe and turn on your notifications i wish you the best of luck in your hair care journey and hopefully i'll see you in my next video bye